And welcome back. We've been talking about loops. We just did the while loop, which is a pretest loop, and now we're going to go on to the next loop, which is a post-test loop. A post-test loop typically allows you to do a series of steps in your code and then execute a test to see if you want to do it again. The post-test loop in C++ is called a do loop. So it's a do, this block of code, and then at the very end is a while, this test is true, and it must be terminated by a semicolon. This is the standard structure of a post-test loop. As a side note, if you do a while loop and you put a semicolon there, it's just like doing the if statement. This loop will never end. This is a seriously infinite loop. So this will go test, 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 but it's doing the no op like the, like the if statement that we showed before. So be careful with this. This semicolon only terminates a do while loop. So the do, the thing, Test the thing to see if you want to do it again, and then this is just the end of the expression for the do while. So if we wanted to actually take some user input, say enter a number, Get a number, man. Let's uh, I tell you what. Let's do this. Int total. So we're going to get a number, and we're going to add that to the total. And as long as that number wasn't say zero, that they entered, it'll keep doing it again. So this do loop is a post test loop. Do this stuff. As long as this condition is continuing to be true, go back and do it again. So as long as we get a zero, or as long as we don't get a zero, we'll keep accumulating numbers. This total is now called an accumulator. It's designed to grab a whole bunch of stuff that you're putting in and give you a total value for it, a summation of it. So the accumulator total says, take this number, add it to this total. As long as you didn't give me a zero, enter another number. Now, as a side effect because of the way this got structured, Zero, in effect, has no impact on this. But as a pretest loop, this is going to happen at least once. You'll end up with a whole bunch of zeros because of the way I structured it. But oftentimes, you, you, you have to be willing to run the loop at least one time. If you don't run it once, then you want a while loop. A well, while loop says, I want to run this loop zero or more times. The do while loop says, I want to run this loop one or more times. It's going to run at least one time. If we run it just for funds, put in a 10, put in a 20, put in a zero, and there's my, well, I didn't print it out, silly me. There we go. 10, 20, 30, zero, and there you go, 60's the total. Now. Oftentimes you'll find that with a do while loop, you'll want to actually have a count go with it too. So that way you can do things like averages and stuff. If I come in here, every time I read a number, I want to add one to my counter. So there's my total. And let's do this just for fun. And that'll print out an average for me, the total divided by count. Now, since these are all integers, I'll get an integer value out of this, and I could fix that if I wanted to, but for now, this is just a show and tell. So, if I put in 10, 10, 10, I've given three values. I put in a zero value, and I get seven as an average. Wait a minute. How many numbers did I enter? I only entered three because I wanted the zero to stop me. Well, look what happens. Because of the way a do while loop is structured, the do is going to execute every single time, including on the value that you want to stop on. So you have to be careful with how you structure these things. This counter only really wants to increment if the number wasn't zero. So you have to build in some special testing to make sure this works right. 
Um, I'll show you how that how to fix this. Oops. If the number is not equal to zero, increment the counter. And I like to, just because my eyeballs like it better, I like the braces. So if the number is not equal to zero, enter the counter. And if we run this, we get the average of 10 because we only counted the numbers that weren't the sentinel value that we were looking for. So in this example, we, we, we've talked a little bit about what this is. This is a post-test loop. It's a post-test loop. Has to end in a semicolon. And if you want to remember to do things like aggregate and accumulate stuff, that's what this total is. This is an accumulator. You have to remember to handle the case where your zero is a sentinel value. So in this case, if I really wanted to do this right, I would set up a constant like that. And I would check to make sure that I don't have a sentinel value. So your, your, your number that you're stopping at is your sentinel value. So in this case, zero is good because I don't want to add up a zero. Zeros don't add anything in this, in this particular case. If you really wanted to count it, then you'd have to do something different. So that's how you do it. You set up all the processes for the pretest or for the post-test, do all the work, get that information, and run it, and then test it and see if you want to do it again. It's a real nice, clean way of handling things. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you what, what I use do-while loops for more than anything. Um, and we will continue onward. Hope you're having a great day.